I am going to be drawing a leopard today. So I hope you art with me, drawing, painting, however you want to do it. Um, I have my light box. It is set up. Um, I have sketched a few leopards out last night by just looking at different pictures and um, ideas. So I sketched them out in my sketchbook. Now, um, sketchbook. I, I've been sketching for a long time and a lot of people spend like $20 to $30 on a sketchbook. This was $4.99 on Amazon. They don't sell them anymore, but they're recycled paper. I mean, they're super thick. Like, I painted that cat yesterday and I mean, it's super impressive. Um, they're 86 pound, but I can't get any more. And I bought like four. I think this is like my last one. So, I've got my. Um, Leopard. I'm not quite sure which little guy I'm gonna do. Kind of like both of them. Let me do that one first. And paper. I am using um, fluid 100. I don't want any tooth on it, so it's a hot, pre hot pressed finished. So these are um, great because they're smooth. And this size that I'm using is 8x8. So the other one I have is 8x10. But um, fluid 100 is the paper that I'm going to be drawing the leopard on. So, get my to get my art supply set up. I'm using gouache today. Um, so I have yellow okra. This is Turner um, acrylic gouache, which is on Amazon. And I think I got like quite a few colors. From it. It, was, it was under $100. Uh, crimson, sepia, permanent orange, and then mixing white, and then black. So um, I'm gonna get this all squirted out and then we will come back and we'll paint them together. squirted onto my palette. I've just taken um, half the paint palette and ripped it in half. Funny story, um, I was videoing two different angles and I forgot to turn um, the camera above me on. So this is my finished one that's drying so we can jump right into the black spots when we get done. Um, so I was making a mixture of yellow okra and mixing white. So I'm just going to, and actually it's nice because learning from what I just did, I'm going to make all of this base color light and then I will go back and add the um, darker shaded color. I was telling myself as I was talking to myself earlier, I um, was really against leopard print for many years. I, I don't know, I guess I just, in the 90s, it wasn't worn as it is now. It's like now they've classed up the leopard print. I feel like so many years it was, I guess I think of zebra print. The big thing when you were living in apartments was a jungle theme decor. Oh, I, I apologize if anybody has a jungle core to theme, but I just, that's what I think of. I thought of any kind of animal prints. But now these days, when I became an art teacher, I realized I gotta jazz up my 
close. So I was telling myself, I've got really bad shaky hand. It's just something I've always had. I've worked through it a lot and I've gotten better, but situations like this does not help. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little bit of a darker with the um, sepia. dry. Um, now we can go back to the one I already did. So I was talking about uh, colored pencil. Um, I don't know if I can pronounce these things right. I don't know. Oh, Faber-Castell. These are Faber-Castell, but they're the watercolor ones. Um, these were a pretty penny compared to the Students, Scholar, Prismacolor. So I, I like the Prismacolor. There's nothing wrong with those. They're just as fine. Um, so let's see. I need something for the nose. Maybe I'll do red. Okay. Let's see. Oh. That is Scarlet. No, red. Yeah, Scarlet Red. Walnut brown. What is this one? Oh, gray made work. That is another brown. This is all bumper. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I want to add the nose in.
no leopard spots or shit. I don't know what they are. Organic. I'm just going to kind of go with the weird B-U. Alright, there is my um, gouache leopard. Again, I use acrylic gouache is what I used. Um, and then Faber Castell colored pencils and Prismacolor um, colored pencils. So I hope you enjoy doing art with me. I hope you come back. I'm gonna try to do this, I don't know how often, but as often as I can.